I believe that that is really being tacky because you know, this is people that's coming over here to murder us, all right, and kill us. And then the emotions of someone down here, if they want to, you know, use some type of decoration that'll go along with this type of activity. That's what words are. They are nothing but movement. And you Europeans made a language where you put slang in it, where you can have words that give an ugly description of negativity. And then after years of people using these words and coming to becoming accustomed to it, you would have the nerves to try to make the words that someone right down here be tarnished and scorned while we overlook the activities that is creating a need to use those type of words. Those type of words should be screamed out of every American mouth as we run down here where these people are right now and stab their asses. That is the truth about it. These are the invaders right here. They sit up telling you that those white men you see out there are American soldiers. And then they give you an American white man to talk. So you see his white face and you hear him talking and you see those other white men. So you quite naturally believe that they the same as he is because all you Europeans are white Caucasians. But I'm telling everybody something right now. All you black people that want to love and worship Jesus. What you're looking at right now is the white man that's coming here that's going to be in your neighborhood with those big ass guns because you did not listen to a Sarah, so we can't help you. And when they come and get your wig wearing butt, all right, and when they come and get your Budweiser drinking ass, they think that everything is the way it should be because I have a bunch of, and really ain't shit, materialism. But that's what makes you calibrate your greatness. That's what you draw a conclusion from. Well, when these people come here and put your ass in that concentration camp, you're not going to have any of that materialism because it's going to be all theirs. The Don Blitz exercises have caused delays for drivers. During today's exercise at Camp Pendleton, military vehicles temporarily blocked parts of Old Highway 101 here to Bassalon Road. Here's the... The jury said military vehicles temporarily blocked that means that they built a stockade and stopped traffic. Okay, that's what that means. It means that it was so many of them that the people that was coming through had to stop and wait. So they've already started implementing, like I said, when they think, so here's what was going on. Since they're in California right now, the first state that they're going to take over is California. So they give you the big smoke screen about New York and 15,000 troops going there. But then we see the troops out here in California. And then he tells you they temporarily blocked the road off. But I already know that when the military comes, the first thing they're going to do is shut down the freeways because that stops you from being able to leave. If you can't get on the freeway and drive away, you're housed inside of a sector. If you look right here, all these sectors of houses and everything are neighborhoods. So they keep everybody concentrated. There's black, white, um, poor, white, Latino, or black. They keep us all in neighborhoods inside of a grid where they could plan forever how to move the military in. So the military, first thing they're going to do is come in and attack the indigenous non-white people, making all those stops and all kind of shit, false arrests, everything, people just disappearing, disappearing, because the plan is to murder the American citizens off this land and replace it with citizens from all the countries that you see in this coagulation right here. That's them sending the military to prepare for the elite of all these other countries to come here and take your bed. I-5 North, the off-ramp going to Bassalone Road, and then the I-5 South off-ramp going down to Bassalone Road. Now, the biggest delays, we're told, are between 6 in the morning and noon, and the Dawn Blitz exercises in Friday. What that means is that everybody that we need to sneak into America are going to come in right under your eye because this is the bullshit we gave you. All right. New Zealand, Chile, Japan, Canada. And then you notice they didn't give you no European countries like Russia, but there's 15,000 Russian troops going to New York. Now, this is just too many white invaders coming into this country from all over the land, all over the world. For your dumb black ass not to be able to see that these white people are getting ready to kill our asses. But with your hateful, stupid, beer drinking ass, you're going to miss all of that. And it's sad. It's so sad. 
But it's okay though. Because you're not doing yourself no good being here anyway. You should get gassed and killed. Because you're not doing anything. Worship being a white man. Stupid shit. And that's him right here showing you who he is. So you're going to tell me that white ass Jesus does not have a synonymous connection with all this white shit going on right here? Don't you see what's going on? Look, they are all here to kill us. Just observers uh, from the Navy. Uh, I, uh, but uh, we, have, uh, we actually have Australian and, and Marine Forces in the city. You can think this is just a scrimmage if you want to. They put these little stupid chairs out here, okay? And all this old shit, and then they let you film what happened right here, right? Okay, these are planes coming in with soldiers in them, off of the ocean. This is an invasion. This is an invasion. The fact that the media is giving it to you and showing it to you on TV make you overlook it. But these are sea vessels coming to land full of foreign soldiers. If you look that activity up in the dictionary, it will tell you that that is an invasion. You guys call it colonizing. And since the white man is meaning other white men, the same group of white men who came here and killed all our black asses to begin with, is only likely to assume that they are rounding up forces to complete the job. But the light ships are here to help me. I'm not worried about them others. And I wanted to say the other word too. But I'm trying to be nice. I'm not worried about them, but you guys are not going to get any help because you're disobedient. The light ships are not going to help you if you don't want to help yourself. So you're left to the whatever it want to be done to your ass of these people. Because the true help that came here in the form of the light sent me here to talk to you, you rejected it. And I told you all this shit was coming, so don't say I did not. This is an invasion. That's what you're looking at. See, this is what they did. They got their ass together and wrote a script. The script that you're looking at right now it's got a bunch of actors in it. They sitting around acting like this is not a big deal. But you let me tell you something, Mr. Torres and Mr. Vasquez and Mr. Billy the Waver and Mr. Johnson and Mr. Green, all you black ass niggas with them white people name. All right? That's all you are. These white men are here to kill us. Because you all want to worship Jesus and Mary. And the Federation that's here in the light ships that know our circumstance is self-induced, they can say, I'm going to let all them fools kill themselves because I'm sick of this shit festering on the planet. So when these white men get through eradicating all the people that still wanted to love Jesus, and as the earth is swallowing, but this is their mind. They can see the earth getting ready to swallow people up and everything that's getting ready to happen, but they still want to be so dominant that they will waste all their time, even when they know it's something mystical going on. They've all, they're already invading in California. Already. Already. And the other one was New York. So all you people that's sitting up there eating those damn Philly cheese steaks and drinking that Budweiser and you haven't done a damn thing about establishing some true connection with your true Spiritual power, which is the light entities that you see up by the sun and the sun itself, you're going to be left at the fate of these guys right here. And we all know what these white men do. They kill people and rape people and put them in concentration camp and bring on imminent death. That's all they do. Now the other night when all those policemen was over here because me and that idiot got into a fight, I had to fight him. I had to defend myself. That's how dumb... They made us, you know, of course he was drinking alcohol or whatever he was getting high off of. But the thing about it is, I handled mine too. I, he better be glad I didn't hurt his ass. 
I pinned his stupid ass down two times. I'm 52, he 26. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm too damn responsible to have to be going through that. But like I said, there was someone putting stuff in his ear that made him act stupid like that. Me and this guy got left in a house together. The guy who I was giving care treatment to here, he died. Then this guy ended up moving in here right at the end when this guy died and all that. So, you know, he walked around sticking his chest out, thinking, talking crazy. It's my house, all that stupid stuff, right? And then other people who should be trying to give him some solid information is sitting up giving him garbage, fueling that ignorance. So that's why he's in jail now. And that's why these people right here does not have one problem with believing that they are the right to come here and kill all of us. Because they taught us to be ignorant people like that. Okay, they're the ones that's really ignorant because they're going to have to pay for everything they do. They don't know that, but they will. But all you black people who instigate decision amongst us and you create circumstances where you put bullshit in people's heads to make them end up in jail. Because, see, I'm not going to jail or any of that stuff. See, because I speak things into manifestation. All right. So that's not a part of my dynamic. See, I don't do that. I have too much power to do that. You think I don't because you judge people off of materialism. And you know nothing about spiritualism. And this is the reason why all this materialism that you give high power over is here to kill you. And it will kill you. But my spiritualism is so powerful, they will walk past me and not do a damn thing to me. But they will come right. As soon as they see you, after they walk right past me, they're going to come and grab your ass. Back to the police that was here the other night when I was fighting that guy. They did a real good job. I was really impressed with the Vancouver Police Department that night. I could not believe the energies, the spirituality of them, and the fact that they had... You know, this guy was off the hook so much, his dumb ass had to get maced by the police. After me and him sat around here fighting, we had three battles, three intermittent battles. It was so bad, I went and hid from this stupid, not that I was afraid of him, but I didn't want to hurt his ass, all right, because he's just a young, dumb kid, and I don't want to be the person sitting around here done hurt his ass up, because I don't need that in my cosmic makeup, and plus, I'm too responsible to be allowing things like that to happen to me, so pretty much, I just did what was necessary to get his ass out of here, all right, and then, um, things is all good. That's the way I look at it. It's just one more thing left and that is the instigator need to be dealt with because you cost him a lot because he's going to get a felony assault charge for that and when you was the responsible for adult instead of you talking to him defusing the bullshit that you knew was bullshit in his head and you should have told him you're young you're not thinking right but because of your jealousy and your envy of me coming up because you what you tell people he's 52 year old man that don't have shit but now look all that's changing. And the fact that me being set up by the universe the way I'm set up now is disturbing to you. So you tried to use that kid to create altercations in this house with me. So I will be agitated and disturbed and have the type of existence mentally that you have. But it backfired because he's gone now just like the universe intended for the person to be here that's here. See, so all that stuff that y'all said didn't matter. None of it mattered because we're dealing with the lights about me. And I'm going to be provided for. I already know that. But the thing is, you made bad circumstances for yourself by doing that stupid stuff. And that's the reason why these guys right here are just sitting around waiting to get some handcuffs on niggas like you. And put you in those concentration camps. And then all that shit that you got that you think make you so high and mighty is going to be there. Look at it real good. See? All these people are from different...